Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to build a very simple filter using one of these black and yellow totes that you can get at Home Depot or Amazon. I'll post the links for everything in the description. Otherwise, it is super simple to build and let's get to it. To start off, what you'll be needing to make the filter is you'll need to drill with two different size hole saws. This one is a, I think two and a half. Two and a half inch hole saw, which is for a inch and a half bulkhead fitting. Then you have this guy, which is an inch and three quarter hole saw, which is for a one inch bulkhead fitting. You'll need a measuring tape to measure the dimensions of things. A saw that you technically won't really need. I used it, but there's an easier way to do it using a knife. You can use a knife and then you'll need a straight edge like this. And then for the material, which we'll be using is of course the bulkheads, which I just mentioned. You have an inch and a half bulkhead and then a one inch bulkhead. You'll have a valve. Most of this stuff is just what I had lying around. So like you can see it's missing a part. You need some PVC. This is an inch and a half PVC. You need some one inch PVC. You'll have a T right there. I'll show you how these all connect together. This is a thread nipple. You got this guy with it. Threads on the one side. You got it. Just some one inch PVC. And then the fitting to go to the pipe. This is the black pipe to go to the pump. Which is going to be this guy right here. This size pump is I believe, 1500 gallons per hour. Some Teflon tape. And of course the tote right here. This guy is a 17 gallon tote. And then you just stick all the filtration material inside there. And then for the filtration material, you'll be using, I already have it cut. I'll show you how to cut all that stuff. But this is Metalomat, which comes in sheets. Kind of like this, just bigger. So technically you can get away with one sheet. I use two sheets. Well, a little bit more, no, well, one and a little bit more. So there's just a small piece I cut off of this one. So, but you can get away with one sheet and then a pillow. So this is an old pillow. I'm gonna cut it up and use the insides as filtration material for the bucket. So the first thing you're gonna be doing is gonna be drilling the holes on the tote itself. You'll have the one inch bulkhead at the bottom, which is gonna be the intake into the tub itself. And then at the top, you'll have that inch and a half bulkhead fitting, which is gonna be the output into the system itself. So it's pretty simple to drill. All you're gonna be using is a drill and those hole saws, and then the holes will be made very simply. This plastic isn't the thickest, so it goes through very smoothly. So after you get those holes drilled, the next thing you wanna do is put these bulkhead fittings on here. This is the inch, one inch bulkhead fitting, which used the inch and three quarter hole saw. So you see it fits around the outside of that thing and then it goes in smoothly. So this one has reverse threadings. You just reverse them. And then on this particular one, so I'll post links to bulkhead fittings. I don't know about the ones I have since I will, the longest part for me on building this filter was just finding all the material lying around in my greenhouse and whatnot. But otherwise, to put this on, you'll have the rubber gasket on this side. This one comes with an extra plate just to secure it a little better. But basically, this guy is going to go through the bottom like so. You put this one on there, and then you'll tighten this guy on top. You just need to hand tighten them. If they do leak, you can try tightening them with a tool, but typically it's not necessary. So you got that guy there, and then on the top, we'll put the inch and a half bulkhead fitting which again we use this two and a half inch bulkhead i mean a hole saw i probably could use a smaller one i just didn't have any so you might be able to use a two and something this one's a little different it doesn't have reverse threads so you just unscrew that and it's only got the one gasket on it so it's not as heavy duty as the other one but this is what i had lying around same thing You'll stick it in through like this, and then just tighten that guy on top, just like so. So technically speaking, you can stick them either way. So you can stick the bulkhead going through this way if you wanted to, as long as the gasket is on this side of the fitting, so you don't want to have it on. So you don't want to put this guy through first, and then the gasket, then it's not going to seal as well. So if, as long as you have it on this side, it's going to be better, but then otherwise you can stick it in through either way. But in terms of this design to make it easier for the filter material so you don't have something sticking out So like right here, this is flatter than say this It's easier for us to go this way And you just stick that on So make sure when you drill the top hole You don't drill too high so that you can't thread this guy on Okay, so now that we got 
holes drilled in this and the bulkheads installed, the next step would be to cut the filtration material, which is this stuff right here, which is super simple to cut, as you can see in the video. The first time I did use it, or try to cut it, I did use the saw, which worked, but it wasn't as easy as, per se, using the knife. I did try the knife at the beginning, and then it just didn't work because I didn't push as hard, and then afterwards I tried later on and it worked much easier than using the saw. Just get a sharp knife and then you just get a straight edge like you can see in the video or like this guy right here and then you just cut it. So pretty simple. Depending on what size tub you get, if you get the same size tub then the dimensions were I think about like 14 and a half up to 15. It'll, the tub is a little smaller at the bottom and then it is 22 inches long. And then you got the scraps that we'll use as well. So after you have these cut, we'll put the scraps in first. You don't have to use the scraps if you don't want to, but you know, might as well. So we got those in there. If you want this long one, you can cut and then stick it this way as well, but there's really no need. So you got those guys, and then the smallest one. So you don't get a perfect, like if you cut them at 14 and a half, you don't get a perfect size on each of them. So this one was a little smaller, which I'll stick at the bottom. You can see there. And then the rest will go in like so. So basically like this, you'll get away with one sheet if you plan to stick those at the bottom. If you don't stick those at the bottom, those little pieces at the bottom, then if you have two sheets, you can cut another sheet and stick it right on top. And then you'll be perfect. So pretty much like so. And then you can see that, that bulkhead fitting right there. And then the water's gonna come through there. And then that's where the pillow is gonna come into play. I, didn't, I don't even know what material is in this one yet because I didn't cut it yet. So we'll see. I mean, you can buy like filter floss is what it's called pond filter floss but it's the same stuff as what's in this pillow and it should be cheaper if you buy a pillow this i just had a line around it's an old pillow so i'll just use that instead of buying a new one same like with most of the stuff i use the only thing i bought recently was the tub everything else i had lying around but then you just use some of this so the how it's going to work is the metallomat which is this stuff is going to catch the bigger, bigger particles and then this finer material will be used for catching the fine stuff so that you can really filter out much more of the gunk. So I mean, if you want, you can use the whole thing like that and just stick it in like so. And then you would stick the top on. And then you'll be all set. Uh, then I'll show you the plumbing. Otherwise, we don't need to use the whole thing. So we'll see how we can use some of this. doesn't need to be pretty so basically this stuff is going to be replaced quite often the metal mat the metal mat you won't really replace it's just going to be cleaned out and rinsed out okay so we stick that in there like so and then this will be used for catching a bunch of fine material if you want, like if you have it like me, and have this extra piece right here, we can stick this guy down here, and then this guy on top, just to keep that stuff in place, also so it doesn't clog up this. And then from that pillow, you got a bunch of extra stuff that you'll just use for when you clean it. So now that's that all done, you can stick the lid on. And then for the plumbing part, we'll work on this guy right here. So I didn't cut any pieces for this. I just used what I had lying around. But what we'll be needing is so we got this. So since this is, has male uh, female threads on it, 
we'll be using a male threaded piece to stick on here. If it was just slipped pipe or just SOC, you can just slip it in there, but this bulkhead fitting has threads on it. So we'll use this, we'll put some Teflon tape on it. So technically, I mean, if you want, you can just go from this straight to the pump hose. The only downside is that if the, if the pump turns off, if you have this higher than your pond, like so, all the water is gonna drain out from the filter. So all that dirty water is gonna go back into the pond itself. So the way I'm gonna be doing it now is gonna counteract that, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so we got that guy on there like so. And in the bottom, I had this piece lying around. And then this ball valve with threads on it. So I'll shove this guy in here and then put Teflon tape on there. I mean, I can't glue this, but I should get away with just sticking Teflon tape on here just for this simple thing. Let me put that ball valve at the bottom. And this is just for cleaning purposes. So if I was custom cutting everything, I would cut this smaller. And then here at the top, we'll stick this pipe right here. Everything's glued. And then there we got this, which is gonna connect to the hosing. If you're using a bigger pump, you can use a bigger fitting. Otherwise, this is a adapter that goes from one inch to three quarter. And then I think this is three quarter, three quarter. My hose is a little smaller, so I'll just have to try to get it on there. So here we have the intake all set up. Got that valve at the bottom. You got the T, that pipe, and then this. So what this does is it allows the water to go down to the bottom, but it also allows it so when you turn off the pump, the water doesn't drain back out. Because it's all it's high up here. So for example, if I had just this guy at the bottom here, the water could drain back into the pond and then all the dirty water goes into there. So that's pretty much how that guy goes. And then for this side, I'm just gonna differ based on your setup. So for mine. I'll just have something like that. And this is just going to go into the tank. So I'm going to use this to filter the water on a temporary turtle tub. Since I moved the turtles out of my pond for the winter into that tub over there. So we'll be using this guy. So we got that all hooked up now. We got the pump here or the hose hooked up to the back. I had to heat it up with a lighter just to get that expanse since it's a different size. And we've got the pipe going down over to there. Then pump on that side so it circulates. The water comes from that side into here and flows this way i should get another top though this one's kind of big and in the way but otherwise to plug it in i will have to add more water since that's going to take some out and luckily i got an outlet right here so we got that all up and running got a little rock or a rock on here to keep it down and started floating and then you got the water coming out there pump right there got a heater in here for the turtles now we're all set then literally to clean it out if you have it higher up or the bulkhead i mean the ball valve position differently you can drain it into a bucket if you just want to drain it out the spot then you just open this up and drain it out when you need to clean it and then you can just spray it out so now we're all set it's kind of angled though because none of this is level so i changed it up a little i replaced the well i didn't replace it i put a t here and then i just moved this over here because the way i had it before I just had this piece attached to this piece of PVC here and it was causing a siphoning effect. So when I would unplug the pump, the water would just go out into there. So by having this on here, it allows air to enter and it won't siphon out. And then just to be safe, I'll pretty much just stick another pipe on here just in case. It's probably not gonna overflow, but that will just have it like that. Now the water goes from the pump to here, in here, down there. And now this way, none of the water is gonna drain back into the tank when I unplug the pump or the power goes out or whatnot. So all the dirty stuff stays in here. So that about sums up this video. Got the filter hooked up onto this tank, uh, this tub over here on the back for my turtles. Basically I move out the turtles since it gets cold in the pond. So in here I have a heater and everything just to keep them a little more safer during the winter. Otherwise this filter is very simple to build. Literally only two holes you had to drill and some pipe you had to cut plus the filter material you had to cut. So 
that's pretty much that i will post links and everything in the description if you want to check those out on amazon otherwise i appreciate the support and thank you for watching